In this video, I am going to discuss what how to reverse rows and count rows using Power Query inside the Power BI. So this is here Power BI Desktop, and uh, first you need to go on uh, this transform. Click there, this transform, and here you can see Power Query editor is open. Now the next uh, step that I am going to connect uh, with uh, Microsoft SQL Server here Adam Database or so here let's uh, open and here click new source SQL server so you can connect with uh, Excel CSV or text file so here you need to give the here you need to give the server name database that I already know that is Adam here you can see this is the Adam database or there now after applying this click on OK button so when you hit OK button, here you can see list of tables that uh, come there. So waiting. Now you can see our uh, display option. So here you can select multiple or uh, tables or you can select one. So I'm going to select this uh, tables and. Uh, after doing this click on ok so this table that i just uh, selected it will comes on the queries part and uh, here so this is the record inside employees so let's see about the countries so here uh, this is three columns and uh, if you want to reverse this ok so here if you want to do the reversing so you can easily achieve by clicking reverse rows so jw that was in last it's come on the first now let's see about the dpt so 40 i want in the first so you can click here 40 so when you click here 40 come lost it's all are in the reverse so when you take the cursor at this place so with the help of reverse rows we can invert the tables rows such as that last rows are display first so last rows 40 it's come first and this is the query and if you want to here so if you want to 40 or uh, this value it's come on the header you can actually achieve here use use first here it's come on the header now if you want let's uh, go on the employees if you want to calculate total numbers of rows click on count here 107 it's a uh, display okay 107 it's a uh, display and if you want uh, here departments so this is uh, the departments table records here go to transform and uh, this i already discussed here reverse rows so all or all are reverse 27 270 it was last it's come first and uh, here after the next is so here after you can uh, make uh, here if you want then you can count this by clicking controls 27 it's a display okay now let's close that not now and uh, here this i'm going to use transform so here it uh, this uh, this uh, all properties are so not displaying but uh, when i close and reopen it's now it's a uh, display so here employees if you want to go to the source here click on source and here this the navigator navigation so when you hit on the navigation here all the record it's a uh, displaying now uh, i want to make a department id value in the group so 19 1 group 16 1 group you can easily achieve click on group by and here click on insert and after clicking insert wait few second here i'm making department id in the groups and here some so if you want to count okay let's give the name cnt and here click on okay here you can see 
it is also count so null that count one times or uh, this value here one that count 10 to 60 here now let's click navigate and here if you want to to reverse this all so click on reverse and here hit ok and uh, here you can see this all 110 that come first there now after let's uh, make a uh, group by once again click on insert and uh, department id and here sum selecting cell and here let's give the name sum underscore cell so this the here sum cell it's uh, displaying now let's uh, make uh, this in ascending order now you can see or uh, 10 some salary here it's a uh, displaying 440 if you don't want this values this first rows and you can easily use this here let's uh, use uh, use first rows and here you can see it's a uh, demo after that uh, you can if you want one day in the last and one ten or uh, one ten in the first you can use reverse so here one day it's come first so I got I just got one idea uh, so here with the help of reverse okay so I'm just uh, making this on uh, sorting so I just uh, sorted here you can see this is uh, here 2110 it's a uh, uh, smallest salary if you want then highest salary to come fast 24 24,000 come fast you can easily use reverse rows so here you can see 24,000 salary it's come fast so with the and here you can see 17,000 is the second highest, 14,000 is the third highest, and there are some duplicate salary 17,000 that try stamps. Okay, so with the help of reverse rows, we can easily achieve highest salary. We can easily know highest salary. So which uh, employee has the highest salary? Steven has the highest salary 24,000. So this is the use of reverse rows and count rows. So it is used to reverse uh, or invert uh, rows value and count rows. It's used to count total numbers of rows inside the table. So sometimes the uh, table has million billions of records. So it's very hard to get. So by using count rows, we can easily achieve. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.